And so the stranger spoke. He told him of two young boys growing up together in a land far, far away from Perfugium. The world was one of rules, a stuffy, class-ridden society. And as Jacqueline Schaefer had striven to escape her social chains, so they strove to shatter their own. They would run away from their classes, run free through fields and forests. Often, as they tired of running, they would sit by the river and stare up at the stars. They would talk of how one day they would be truly free and how they would wander the stars and see the universe. They were united in their yearnings to escape and be free. They were, however, also united in their suffering at the hands of another. Another boy would torment and bully them, for he saw them as simply ants. One day the ants revolted. They'd been playing on the banks of the river Lethe when Tovik, for that was the bully's name, appeared. He wasn't evil. He was just another naughty young child trying to break the rules. He found the two boys sat by the river. Without warning, he jumped. He pulled one of them down to the water, grabbed his head and pushed it into the flowing stream. The child struggled, struggled vainly as the water went up his nose and down his throat. Tarvik wasn't going to drown him. He was merely doing what bullies do, seeking control. But, but what about the other boy? What did he do? This is where it all began. Usually, when Tarvik tormented one of them, the other would sit and wait, helpless. But this time, this time, something awoke in the other child. A blind fury, an anger, sick with anger. He charged at Tarvik, stopping only to pick up a large stone on the way. Tarvik never stood a chance. The murderer pulled his friend from the water, and they stood there in silence, watched as the blood flowed from Tarvik's shattered skull, watched as the blood flowed into the stream, watched, unable to comprehend what one of them had done. The other boy, being of a sounder mind, realized immediately what punishment they would face. But, but they had only been trying to protect themselves. One of them had taken a life. They knew that if they were caught, they would never realize their hopes for freedom. They would never see the universe. What did they do? They pulled Tarvik's body from the river. They pulled him onto the dry land. They covered his body in branches from the trees. Then, together as one, they set the funeral pyre alight. And together, Holding hands, they watched as his body burned. They watched as Tarvik's skin bubbled and burned and became smoke. They watched as they sent him back to nature. And they were never caught? They were never caught. They returned to their homes as if nothing had happened. And as the years went by, the boys grew up and apart. They never once spoke again of that dreadful day. Years later, one of them left their home for reasons too complicated to go into, and he became known as the Doctor. He travelled the universe, always with friends, doing good wherever he could, perhaps in some small way to try and make up for what he had done that day. The other, the one who had smashed Torvik's head into a bloody pulp, became distant as the guilt and hatred ate away at him gnawing at his soul. He too left their home. He too travelled the universe, but always alone, doing, doing whatever he could to survive. But, but something was growing inside of him. Evil. Wherever he travelled, so he brought death. He had no motives, no reasons. He was the master. And that's who John Smith is. And the stranger told them of the master. He told them of his ridiculous schemes and plans. His plans to control the universe. He had no motive. There was no reason. There was only one certainty with the master, and that was that he would bring death. He was, beyond all doubt, evil. 
He told them of worlds destroyed and families devastated. He told them of how the master would kill and kill and kill, of how thousands, no, millions had died at his hands. His once accomplice, his oldest friend, the doctor, became his oldest foe. And Dr. Sutton was this doctor? He was. 